Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the how to install a specific version of Node.js on Enterprise Linux uh, version 8. Uh, so uh, the question is that um, if you're uh, migrating from uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.9 into Red Hat 8, uh, you might be interested to uh, know how to install a specific version of Node.js in NPM. And then uh, let's just discuss what is Node.js first of all. Uh, JavaScript is uh, used on the browser side and then uh, Node.js came as a result of server side. So JavaScript when it is running to serve uh, applications and other uh, uh, tools uh, that are on the, like used to be like CGI and other ones. So on the serverlet side, uh, Java had it. Uh, called servlet and then uh, at the same time there's a lot of tools that has to run as a server side and for javascript node.js is the server side of the application that runs on a specific port by default it runs on a specific uh, port on like 3000 but you can configure it to any port and then it listens to and these services through http protocols or https whatever you configure your site uh, and then NPM stands for Node Package Manager. So we're going to just also uh, today install Node.js with Node.js NPM comes in, which stands for Node Package Manager for application that your uh, libraries of Java that you could uh, use to install uh, packages and then we could configure it and run it. At the later uh, videos, I might show you uh, both of them. So uh, with this one, we're gonna just show you specifically how to install a specific version. So let's get started. I have already been running a, a Enterprise Linux 9 here. And I'm sorry, 8 here. So I'm gonna log in here. It's a virtual machine, as you can see. It's running on a Windows host operating system. And uh, the graphical interface, last night I installed it and I showed you on the other video how to make it a graphical user interface. I just changed the desktop background. So if you look at the activities here under the terminal, when you open a terminal, you can do shift control plus to uh, resize it. And you can drag it here maybe and just put, put it in the center. I think that's uh, good enough for the size. So I'm gonna do cat minus NPTC OS dash release. And that is gonna tell me that I'm running Red Hat Enterprise uh, 8.9 Enterprise Linux 8.9 the distribution is Fedora and uh, the details are there if you just also do cat if you see a Red Hat dash release you get one line information saying that you're running Red Hat 8.9 so at this time if I say DNF repo list DNF is the package uh, manager for it and as you can see it uh, provides you the packages that are uh, the upstream and then uh, base on OS uh, RPMs. That's all for uh, Red Hat 8.6 or whatever, X8664. Uh, uh, so you name dash P for platform, it tells you that it's, you're running on a X8664 architecture. You name dash uh, machine type also will tell you the same architecture. And you name dash S, is uh, telling you that it's a Linux, you name dash A will give you all the parameters, you name dash O, the version and the OS and stuff. So you have a number of uh, ways to do it. You name dash R is showing you the 4.18 kernel build. So at this time, we wanna just make sure that we are able to install um, the uh, Node.js and um, NPM. So if I say no, which uh, NPM at this time, it is not installed. And if I say which node, it's not installed. And then if I say RPM minus, minus QA uh, grip, uh, let's do an E grip minus I, and then put in a single code node or NPM, there might be other uh, names that are matching to it, like word, word but that's not the node JS that we are looking for no dev is a different thing for the drivers so at this time i know it's not installed so dnf uh, provides 
if you just have the RPMs that I showed you here, clear screen, DNF, repo list, obviously, um, prior to uh, DNF on Red Hat 8, we were using YAM. YAM is symbolic link to DNF 3, and DNF is also symbolic link to DNF 3. So repo list, DNF will give you the same thing as YAM uh, repo list. If you're just interested to use a YAM, you can do that one. So we know those packages are there. That means that I can do DNF provides and then user bin uh, node, for example. And that way I could say that what is the name of the package that I can do to install it. As you can see, the RAL 8.9, the app stream that is providing it. Uh, and I have that one when I did the installation. So if I just want to install it with root access, I'm going to do sudo su dash and then become root first. So I don't have to type in sudo in front of my command every time I do. Now id dash un is root. So I can say uh, dnf module and list. This gave me all the uh, list of all modules that I can install, remove, and uh, add or uh, configure everything. So one of the modules uh, in this case that I'm interested, let's see, clear the screen first. And then I could say instead of the uh, list, the mo DNF module list, and then I say Node.js. So at this time, I want to just know specifically what version of Node.js on this repository is available for me. As you can see, version 10 is D, meaning that it's default that is available. So if I just install a Node.js, uh, Let's say DNF install uh, Node.js uh, module and then install a Node.js, it will install 10. But I, as you can see on my video, I wanted to install uh, version 16. So assuming that 16 is the one that you're interested, you could do something like this, say DNF module and then install and then Node.js. And then right here, you can say latest or 16. Uh, so if you just don't give any call in here, it's going to do the default number 10. But I'm going to do the version 16 here. So I want to get the specific version that I'm interested in. And with that one, NPM is a specific version. So now it's uh, prompting me uh, for, uh, do you want to just install it? Notice because I put call in 16, it says the version 16.20.2 is available for me to install an NPM is 8.19 here. So the RPM that actually gets installed will be uh, showing a specific version. You just uh, select it and you just install them. And now this time if I do the same search after it's completed this one, I have to uh, wait for it to complete. And not notice that it shows me all the documentation. So if I say which uh, node here, you can see Node.js is uh, installed. And if I say Node-V for version, it tells me 16.20.2. If I say which NPM for Node Package Manager, then I can say uh, Node-V and it is uh, there. So at this time, if I just say, for example, get into Node and say 2 plus 2 or um, console.log and then say something like print, uh, Let's say whatever you want to say, hello world or something. Hello world and then and um, console, I miss that um, console wrote like this, console uh, like that, and then it will just say. So in, in order to exit, you can do control D or control C, but the best way is to do dot exit and that would exit out. Similarly, if, let me clear the screen. Similarly, if you say NP, uh, node dash dash help, you get all the information that is there. Uh, so five more, you will see all the lines one at a time. And then you could uh, use the node to install and configure everything. So then also for the NPM, uh, for example, NPM, we say that the version is there, sorry, NPM, not NPV. Dash V and tell me the version. And NPM dash dash help, you can see all the options are there. NPM config, NPM install, NPM test, 
all of those ones you can install like hello world or npm uh, chalk or something you just install the specific app and then you can install it stop it start it and everything you can configure it at the later view, uh, video i will show you the detail of that one so at this time if i just clear my screen and say uh, the command i did the dnf module list and, and node.js to see that uh, this information previously it was saying the version d is as now you can see 16 is e meaning enabled so that is installed and uh, it's available you can also do a dnf search uh, node.js since and that information is there you could see that um, the packages or uh, for it is there the one that we installed or uh, up there. And if you could say um, RPM minus QA, uh, grip minus I node JS, now it's gonna give you the specific version before it was not there. Now, if I just say E grip, and then put this one in single code, node JS as well as uh, node, I mean, uh, NPM, then you could see that there are specific packages are there. And then if you want to query on that one for the last one, for example, let's say uh, you could just say uh, tail minus one, and that's the last one, which is NPM, or you could do a grip on NPM. And then here you could say, while well, read var do, and then say um, RPM minus QA, uh, query, uh, QL, query listing, dollar sign bar and then done now you get a list of all those uh, one and then here you can also do a pipe uh, grip minus i bin so you can see the binary list of uh, uh, packages that are having the uh, on slash bin and if you are specifically interested on a user bin that will just only show the list of the ones that are in user bin, which is NPM and NPS. <laughs> Similarly, if you do the same thing for uh, the node package manager, instead of head, head minus one, you could do head, uh, head minus two, the first three that was there. Head uh, minus two or minus three, whatever number of packages that you want to get a list of them, you could do that one. And then uh, node is the one that you can see there. So there's a number of commands you can do this. And if you don't want to do a wild read here, you could just uh, delete all of this information here. And then just up to here, you can backtick here, backtick here, and then start with um, uh, RPM minus uh, QL, and then backtick here, this one, that will list everything. And like this, it will just list all the ones. And if you then do a grip minus I bin, then uh, that would show you the user bin uh, node JS. Yes. So I showed you a number of ways to do this one, but now node is installed. You can also do other DNF like info on um, node JS, for example, to read information about it and DNF uh, search and everything. You can see that. All of these things are there, okay? I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it. And then if you're interested to do another version like I showed you here, let's say you want, uh, and instead of 16, you want 20. So just uh, say uh, DNF module less Node.js. I chose uh, the option of 16. Let's say you want the latest version, the 20. You could say uh, DNF, and uh, module install and then node.js colon 20 or call, uh, colon latest that would just uh, do the latest upgrade so you could do a specific version of them and uh, i hope uh, you liked it and uh, and just go to our channel also for a specific uh, videos that you uh, might find interesting to you it is my web university the whole channel is uh, my web university at youtube.com and these are the videos that is uh, specific to operating system such as uh, Linux, Unix, um, Windows and then a lot of uh, different flavor of uh, Linux 
whether it's Red Hat or Rocky or CentOS or uh, Ubuntu or Fedora, I have videos on it. Same thing with Windows and Python programming, C, C++, Bash, Shell scripting, you know, a lot of the stuff. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, just subscribe to the channel and have fun. Take care. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Also, I have the 4C version of the my web university for uh, people from my country, Afghanistan. So if you're interested to learn in 4C, please join the channel, my web university in 4C, and go under the videos and then just watch all these videos in 4C language, which I um, could help you as well. Take care. God bless you all. Khuda Hafiz.